The narcissist doesn't get over you. It's just an illusion. Narcissists are not completely delusional. They know when they have lost something valuable. They know when they have lost something that is difficult for them to replace. They know the difference between something that is good for them. So when they do lose something of value, it destroys them. It makes them want to reacquire what they lost because they know they're not going to find a suitable replacement. Maybe the narcissist doesn't get over you because you're their soulmate. Because you're the one. You're the person they're meant to spend the rest of their lives with. Some people may come to this conclusion, but this is false. Because the narcissist values their supply based on superficial things. Their idea of a perfect partner is someone who is attractive and successful. Someone who makes a lot of money. Someone who fulfills their every desire. So with that in mind, the narcissist will never find their soulmate. If there is one person they're meant to spend the rest of their lives with, they will never find them. Because they probably wouldn't even be interested in their soulmate, even if they met them. They would probably think that type of person isn't fun or exciting enough. The narcissist needs an emotional roller coaster. They need chaos and drama. And they have no inner sense of being. So there is no soulmate for the narcissist. There's just possessions. There's just people or things that they own. But in some way, you were ideal to the narcissist. You were useful to them. But the narcissist was foolish enough to think that they could do better. They took you for granted. The narcissist doesn't always get over you. Sometimes it is just an illusion. And when they lose you, it triggers them to reflect on their actions. But it's not because they love you. It's not because they care about you. It's because you have something that they want. Something that they cannot find in another person. Something that they don't want to find in another person. But it's always something superficial. It's either money, sex, connections or a place to stay. But it's also a sense of security and stability. You were given them your emotional investment. You're predictable. They know what to expect from you. Because you didn't change. And they know the difference between you and other people. Other people's lives are in complete disorder. They're liable to change at any moment, but you stay the same. So the narcissist knows when they need to hold on to someone. 
but they're not good at keeping the things that they need. The narcissist is their own worst enemy. They cause most of the problems and most of the bad things that happen to them because of their character, because of the way in which they choose to behave. They ruin their relationships. They cause you to lose the love and affection that you once had for them. But they target people who are full of love, happiness and joy. And then they try to experience life through your perspectives, experiences and motivations. They try to be you. But they cannot be you. And that is why they have to keep you around. Because they need that good energy. They need that love, light and compassion in their lives. But they get bored very easily. So even though you may have what they need, they will take you for granted because they're not expecting you to leave. But when you do leave, it's a shock to them because they didn't expect you to do that. So they try to numb their pain with sex, drugs, shopping or alcohol. They try to escape reality. They try to distract themselves. Because they're constantly thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind. Because in their minds, they think you're their soulmate. They think you're the one. When in reality, no one can satisfy their insatiable desires. No one can be enough for the narcissist. Because the narcissist is not enough for themselves. Even when the narcissist gets everything they want, they're still miserable. But they're convinced that you are the one for them. They're convinced that no one else can replace you. They may try to find someone else because they need narcissistic supply. So they will often downgrade. They will often settle for less, but they will never be satisfied. It may look like they're happy and they've moved on, but it's just an illusion. They're putting on an act. They're trying to make their new supply seem better than you. Even though they're not, they're trying to pretend that they're over you, but they're just concealing their emotions. They're distracting themselves with this new relationship. They will never be happy in the way that we can be happy. Which is why they will always come back to hoover you. Because they can't get over you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.